Okay, hello guys. Uh, good afternoon. So, do we have any absentees for today? Mel, do we have any absence for today? We are perfect in attendance, ma'am. Okay, very good. Our topic for today is about past simple of the verb to be. So, from the word past, meaning it is already happened. And when we say simple past or past simple, it indicates that or it emphasizes that the action is finished. And the verb to be, it has two forms, okay? The verb was and where. So here we could see that we have four columns, singular and plural. So in the first column, you could see singular subject i he she and it and for the singular verb we have was so they are partners i was he was she was and it was well, we have the subject we you and they and for the verb we have where we were you were and they were so please remember their partners. Okay, I'm going to repeat. I was, he was, she was, it was, we were, you were, and they were. Are there any questions regarding the subject and the and the verb? Class? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. None? So please remember, okay? The partner of the singular subject is was. And for the plural, the partner of the subject is the verb were. Okay? Next slide. So remember the partners. I'm going to show you some examples for singular and plural. Okay. So for singular, you can see that I highlighted the verb. I was cold. He was in the garden. And for the plural, we have you were tired. We were on holiday. Earlier, I've discussed the subject for the singular and the subject for plural. So as you can see in these examples, they are partners, right? Class? Yes, ma'am. Class. So, are there any question regarding the use of was and were in a sentence? Okay. Abby, do you have any question? None? How about you, no, Kyla? Do you have any question? None. Okay, none. So, am I clear? Am I clear? Yes, well, okay, yes, so, and for activity, so, you have seen the examples, right? So, I want you to write five sentences using was and were in a sheet of paper. Like in our example, we have, I was cold, he was in the garden, you were tired, and we were on holiday. So in your activity, I will give you three minutes to accomplish that task. If you have any questions, please uh, chat in the in our chat box, or you can just say your question. Okay.
Are you guys done? Okay, three minutes is up. So I assume that you are done writing the five sentences using was and were, huh? Okay. So we're going to proceed in our in our corresponding lesson. So what can you see in your screen right now? Mel, what do you see in your screen? A positive and a negative sign. Okay, very good. So I'm going to discuss the positive and the negative. So this is not math, okay? This is, uh, we're in English class. So for positive, uh, earlier what we have discussed is the positive form of was and where. So the question is, how are we going to make it in? In negative form so to make it in negative form we, we will just add not in the sentence okay I'm going to repeat if we're going to make it negative we're going to add not in the sentence for example the first column is for positive and the next column or the second column is for negative so example number one I was cold. So for negative, I was not cold. Okay? We're just going to add not in the sentence to make it negative. Okay? So he was in the garden. He was not in the garden. You were tired. You were not tired. We were on holiday. We were not on holiday okay so for positive you're not going to use not you're going to use not to make it negative are we clear yes but Abby are we clear okay So for your activity number two, so since you have write the five sentences for the uh, positive, I want you to make it in negative form. I'm going to give you, again, three minutes, okay? You're going to add not, okay? You still have two minutes left. You're just going to make it in negative form, huh? You're just going to add not.
Okay, one minute. Are you guys finished? Yes, ma'am. We're done po. Okay. So, after negative, we're going to learn about the contractive negative form. So, as you can see in our presentation, so, was and were, the, the verb was and were plus the adverb not. So, if we're going to combine them, for example, was plus not, as you can see, it will transform to wasn't. Was plus not is equal to wasn't. So, how about the plural, were? So, were plus not is equal to weren't. Were plus not is equal to weren't. It's very easy, right? So please don't be confused. The positive, negative, and the contracted negative form. Uh, if you're going to use was and were in a sentence for negative, you're just add not. Okay? So for contracted negative form, you're going to combine the verb and the adverb not. So, was plus not wasn't. Were plus not weren't. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Do yeah. so, you have any question? Do you have any clarification, guys? None, ma'am. None. Okay. Okay. So, as you can see, we have a set of examples again. So negative and contractive negative. So for negative, I was not cold. So for contracted negative, it will be I wasn't cold. He was not in the garden. To he wasn't in the garden. You were not tired. You weren't tired. We were not on holiday. We weren't on holiday. So for your activity number three, so, you have already finished the positive and the negative. So, I want you to write their contractive negative form. Okay? So, again, you will have three minutes. So remember the formula, huh? Was plus not, wasn't, were plus not, weren't, okay? One minute left.
Okay? Time is up. So, again. So, can you see my whiteboard here? Can you see it? Guys, can you see my whiteboard? Yes, Bob. Hello. Okay. So, I was, was not, to wasn't. We were, were plus not, to weren't. So, please don't be confused, okay? Yes, not plus were the verb the verb were and was to wasn't and weren't okay so now we will proceed to so using was and were in a question form so how how are you going to make it in a question form so here so, as you can see, I make the subject color green while the verb in color blue or dark blue. So, you will not be confused. Okay. So, look. Look at the example. I was not cold. So, in, go, in making a question... Uh, we're just going to uh, transfer the or switch place or switch place the verb and the subject. So I was cold to was I cold? Was I cold? And in the last uh, and of course in the in the last part, you're going to add a question mark. Okay. So the the subject will be placed on the second and the verb will go into place on the first. So, I was called to was I called. The next example, you were tired. Were you tired? So, please don't be confused. You're just going to switch place the verb and the subject, okay? So here I will have the positive, negative, and contractive negative of question form. So was I cold? Do you remember earlier that I discussed the negative that we're just going to add not in the sentence, right? So in negative, we're just going to add not. Was I not cold? Was I not cold? And for the contractive, what did I say earlier? The verb plus the adverb. So, um, was plus not wasn't. So, wasn't I cold? The next example is, was he in the garden? Was he not in the garden? Wasn't he in the garden? So, do you guys notice the difference of the positive, negative, and contractive? Yes, guys. Okay, so do you have any question? None? Um, none so far. So none. since since that you guys um doesn't have any question, I'm going to call each one of you. So here, you were tired. So what is the positive uh positive form in question of you were tired? Abby, you were tired. The positive question form will be How about Melissa? Were you tired? Okay, very good. How about the negative form of you were tired? Were you not tired? Okay. How about the contracted? Weren't you tired? Okay. Very good. So, in the last uh, example, we were on holiday. 
So, were we on holiday? That is for positive. Were we on holiday? For negative, were we not on holiday? Were we not on holiday? For contracted negative, weren't we on holiday? So, please remember, okay? So, please don't be confused. So, do you get it? The positive, negative, and contracted, and question form? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, for your last activity, so I want you to write the was and where in a question form. So, you have already write the positive, negative, and contracted forms, right? So, now I want you to write the question form in positive, negative, and contracted. So, I will give you uh, six minutes. You have two minutes left. Please finalize your answer.
one minute left. So please finalize your answer. Okay, time is up. So, are you guys done? Yes, ma'am. Okay, how about Abby? Are you done? Are you done, Abby? How about you, Kyla? Are you done? Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. And it seems like you really did. Really, you really did understand the lesson for today. I'm going to send a link in our messenger. Please post your answers. Uh, since it is in the sheet of a paper, please uh, pick, uh, capture it in your phone picture and send it in the link that I will send, okay? So... That is the end of our lesson, and I hope that you have learned the past simple of the verb to be, was, and were, okay? Thank you, guys. Bye-bye, and God bless. Thank you, ma'am.